Sometimes teachers and principals command students with their reputation. Sometimes it's just a look. In the case of our next inductee, any student at Wilkes Central circa the 1980s, well, they know how he got your attention. Deep, resonant, savvy with the tempo he used. Mr. Stone. <laughs> that, by the way, is an example, not that I ever heard that. <laughs> Likely the students who learned from Dr. Alexander Irwin at Lincoln Heights, at Wilkesboro, and at C.C. Wright know that sound and they know the care that he showed for every student. Dr. Irwin and I were colleagues together at Wilkes Central High School starting in 1979. Dr. Irwin was always professional in every sense of the word. I don't think I remember a day when we were at Wilkes Central when he didn't come in with the suit and a tie on. He was always an educator who pushed for the very best. Dr. Irvin is passionate about motivating teachers, motivating principals, motivating communities just to be the best they can be. He wants to make his community, his town, a better place. He wants to make us better so we can make our community and towns a better place. It goes back to his teaching roots at Lincoln Heights School where he felt a calling to, to teach. And from that calling, he left as you know, went from Lincoln Heights to Wilkes Central High School to become a principal. Just his whole life has been de devoted to education and an advocacy for young people to motivate. So I think it just kind of called him to this area. I've known Dr. Irwin since 2006 when I first entered the Leadership Studies PhD program at North Carolina A&T. And Dr. Irwin created this program and he maintained a great program and a great network of scholars of friends of cohort members that still last even today. Dr. Irwin, I consider him to be a friend, a mentor, father figure, and an academic colleague. He built this program from the ground up and he was able to create an environment of inclusiveness, an environment where people felt uh, they belonged and they could talk about their scholarship. Dr. Irwin is someone who is always dedicated to the task at hand. He had a way of making you feel like you were a part of a family. And in a, in a sense, it was. It was a huge educational family out there. He always made you feel important. He knew each student he knew a little something about each one of them. These are the students that would come in to him, talk to him, or it would be a, a student that would be referred to him, but he would always take the time to know that special thing about them when he talked to them so he could encourage them to achieve more. He always says, share with us his beginnings, his background, and say, you know, look, I started with nothing, I'll end up with nothing, but I want you to persevere. I want you to achieve your goal, achieve your dream. So then when I achieve my goal, my dream, he is prouder that we have achieved our goals and our dreams. Anyone who comes in contact with him, you gotta rise to the occasion. You gotta be, I need you to be better. He's a person that people uh, should really know that they have someone who has done so many great things and inspired so many people and impacted so many lives. People that he may not even know that lives he's impacted. Dr. Irwin is totally worthy of this great honor from the Wilkes County Hall of Fame. Dr. Irwin has many firsts in his career as an African-American educator, though I'm not sure many of us ever really considered that. We saw him as a man who cared, held students to a high standard, and worked every day to make you better. That continued when he left the Wilkes County Schools and became a leader in higher education. Dozens of colleges and universities touched by his dedication to education and to leadership. Tonight, he joins the list of educators in the Wilkes County Hall of Fame, Dr. Alexander Irwin. I am humble tonight. 
want to do something probably Morgan and I didn't ask, but I want everyone that I, that I taught or you worked with me in the school system or at one of the universities, would you please stand for a moment? Thank you. We talked about legacy. That is my legacy. When I think about coming to Wilkes County in 1964, 65, I was a young lad, just out of college. I was going to set the world afire. But as I thought about it, there was a uh, minister, Reverend Frank Bailey, He's deceased now. But he said to the new teachers that year at Lincoln Heights, if you're not here for business, you have no business here. That has stayed with me, and it stayed with me as I worked here in Wilkes County. Wilkes County is home to me. I've lived here in Wilkes County 59 years, soon to be 60. That's longer than I've lived anywhere else. Wilkes County has been and will always be home to me. Many people thought, well, he's worked here, he's worked there. But every place I worked, I commuted back to home, back to Wilkes County. So I stand before you tonight to say to you, Wilkes County is my legacy. If I have anything that I have accomplished, it's because of the students, the parents, and you know, I'll stop there and make a uh, note. The parents in Wilkes County said to me, and Arnold Lake is one, Arnold had many children, and I was there for them in elementary school, in high school, and even at Appalachian, I saw some of them. So the parents and the teachers in Wilkes County made me who I am. They deserve this award because without them, I would not have been there. There's an old African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes families to raise me. All of my families, all of the schools where I was a principal or a teacher, I considered the students my children. I always believed that I wanted to teach and treat every child as though that child was my child. And I knew if I did that, I wouldn't go wrong. I couldn't make a mistake. So I stand before you this evening and say to you, thank you, Wilkes County. And the songwriter said, I never would have made it. I never could have made it without you. And so I say to you, Wilkes County, the Stone family, the Wilkes County Hall of Fame uh, Board of Directors. It is my pleasure, it is my hope and my dream that I have inspired some young person as I passed along this way, that my living will not have been in vain. And my legacy will be the students, the parents, the teachers, that I have come in contact with wherever I have been. That's why Mr. Lewis, one of, the, one of the teachers at Wilkes Central, and when you start picking out your best, you have to pick out all of them. And I would say to those who worked with me, not for me, nobody ever worked for me, you worked with me, you were a team. And I say to them, you made me who I am. And in closing, I want to thank my mother, who is 104, still independent, still lives alone, <laughs> and still says, Ellick, you have to come home sometime. And I say, Mother, I'm at home. I'm at home in Wilkes County. Thank you. I have been and will always know that Wilkes County 
is the place to be. Thank you.